Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on February 19th, 2024. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well as earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Starting out here, looking at the last 48 hours of imagery of our sun and a large plasma filament eruption from the southern hemisphere and as well sizable filament eruption in the northern hemisphere has me a little bit concerned with all of the pole activity we're seeing on the sun and we've been seeing more increasing events over this past six months rolling into solar maximum having a look at the cresting imagery last 48 hours incoming and outgoing just some amazing stuff no major solar flares to talk about nor earth directed cmes but the concerning plasma filament around the equator and the north and south of pole has me a little bit concerned having a look here at multi-spectrum the last 48 hours of imagery pointing out the minor c-class events and as well we do have a building and pretty strong coronal hole in the southern region of our sun right there building and turning in for a view 171 angstroms here amazing images of our sun and thank you so much we have hit 70,000 followers much love and thank you for all the follows right now we have five sunspot regions and that big one on the left hand side is leaving a monstrous black hole on the sun having a look here at a different light and you can see those very complex sunspot regions they make a huge black hole on the sun but this one cresting in is massive give you a little look here earth to scale this is a huge sunspot region Current space weather conditions, there are none to talk about right now. Space weather calm. Solar X-ray flux only showing C-class solar flares and moderate at best. But some long duration yesterday, solar proton flux has come right back down and geomagnetic activity is low as well, sitting at a 1.5 today. Having a look here at the Space Weather Prediction Center spiral, showing the most recent CMEs taking off from our sun. That was from that large X player set to give us a glancing blow 19th into the 20th. And then having a look at ISWA space prediction spiral, large flare or sorry, coronal mass ejection coming from the back side of the sun. But I do believe it was in the Southern hemisphere. So in a more southward fashion, little yellow circle there is earth. Next expected space weather event, 22nd into the 23rd. Now let's have a look at Alaska 2 brought to you by Soho. Look at that big plasma filament eruption in the southern hemisphere. And as well, most recent in the northern hemisphere. But look at this, lots of plasma associated with that just streaming out of our sun and even pieces of it falling back into the sun. Have another close look at here, just some amazing images from Soho. Bleh! Massive plasma filament. Now let's get to earthquakes past 24 hours as it is numbers are low we're actually sitting at 180 across the world according to usgs bar there are more there are a lot more starting out here with our deepest 346 kilometer depth kermadec islands and as well notable 4.6 there fiji 5.1 here in kokopo papua new guinea and timor lest 5.0 magnitude 141 kilometer depth our largest earthquake the past 24 hours, a 5.2 in Gilgit, the Pakistan, and a 4.4 in Kuka, Japan, uh, China, and as well a 4.4 reported here in Paliachora, Greece. I'm not sure if that's how it's said, but Greece, 4.4, and as well a 5.1 here, Scotia Plate, South Sandwich Islands, 
and South America, Peru. Something is brewing there near the Galapagos microplate. Chazuta and Chimbote, all in Peru. 5.1, Santa Ana, 4.9. Caribbean plate seeing some increased seismicity as well. Dominican Republic reporting a 4.2 at 116 kilometer depth, pretty depth, deep for the region. And as well, Puerto Rico, largest through the region, being a 3.8. Things are quieting down at our most recent earthquake swarms through Texas and Mexico border. Not much to report across California, but increased seismicity here through Alaska, Unalaska, 4.0, and as well, Atka. And that's the last 24 hours for earthquakes. Here, I'll give you a quick glance at the last seven days for shakers around the world. And all this increasing activity through the Central Pacific Plate, moving northward into the North American Plate, keeping an eye on the Cascades. And as well, all the deep activity we've been seeing increasing through Fiji, all around the Tibetan Plateau, increasing and widespread through the South American plate into Antarctic. Heads up, my friends and family, just have a plan and hashtag no fear here. Now let's have a look at our SO2 forecast brought to you by our active and erupting 42 volcanoes around the world. No new volcanoes have been activated or are erupting or upgraded. Having a look here at the last few eruptions through Alaska and Kamchatka. Quite a bit of SO2 straight across the North American plate. And then over Southeast Asia, Micronesia, Indonesia. Not much has changed since Two nights ago, an update, taking a day off yesterday, a day of rest Sunday. That will be the only day that I will be resting. Other than that, the Daily Do is here for you, and thank you all for watching, and again, for hitting 70,000 followers together here on February 19th, 2024. 70,000 followers worldwide. Next goal, 75,000. Now let's get to weather here, brought to you by Windy.com, overlooking at Europe and Africa. First, forecast here right till the end of the month, still some large low-pressure systems in the North Atlantic, and they will be swinging down and making landfall all throughout the week through Europe, as still forecasted. Not much has changed, but some interesting lows there through the Mediterranean could be trapped and may bring some moisture to parts of North Africa. Overlooking North America. Low pressure system off the west coast. will be heading northward into BC before joining forces with another low in the Pacific. Colorado low sweeping across the United States. Not much moisture associated. We still have some warm temps. But then watch for these big systems to come in from the north and they will be funneling in some cold temperatures. Polar vortex is totally split. Having a look here at our next big winter storm for eastern Canada and as well lots of snowfall across the west coast with multiple lows moving in. So wet week ahead for the west and as well the east but most of central United States staying dry Cold temperatures here forecasted. Long range forecast could see some extreme cold temperatures, but right now that big tropical block is not letting that happen. Overlooking Southeast Asia, Indian Ocean, and Australia, we still have intense low pressure system raking around the Australian continent and as well down through Mauritius, east of Madagascar. And then a big system here developing for Japan and parts of eastern Russia. And as well, Hong Kong. Give you a more detailed look at 
The Australian forecast as that low pressure center is sweeping across the Northern Territory right now. And then we'll go out into the ocean and then make landfall again, 24th, 25th parts of Western Australia. And then watch for this intense low to possibly sweep all the way around the continent, affecting Tasmania in the long range. Leave you here a look at, at the North Pacific forecast as there are multiple lows spinning around the Bering Strait. Heavy snowfall expected all through the Aleutian Islands and eastern Russia and as well now Japan with these systems that are going to be raking up their coast. Always like to share here once in a while our upper level winds. So this is our polar vortex right now smiling at us as it has split. And who knows where the North Pole is now. Magnetic North is more towards Russia. But with these swirling winds across our Northern Hemisphere, just some very strange days ahead, folks. It's time to leave Earth. I'm kidding. No fear here, everybody. Just some big changes. And I don't know what to say. I don't know what to think. But I do believe our planet's in trouble. And it's not our fault. We're going through these cycles. We would be going through these cycles nonetheless. Hashtag solar cycle 25. Where's our North Pole? Thanks everybody for watching today. I hope you enjoyed the show. Please don't forget to smack that like button. Stay aware, prepared. Stay young and have fun, and get your daily due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.